Hey guys, welcome back to another thing to Fortnite Gunner Airsoft review video. I'm gonna turn on some more of my lights. They're on. Okay, so let's get on with the review. Today I got a special gun for you guys. Um, this is off the WE XDM Compact 3.8. Um, the X I wouldn't buy the XDM from WE, but I would buy the Compact because it's more special. I would just get a Maruri if it was just a regular XDM. So um on a, so my um see my AK uh, so it's now an upgrading so I don't have any more I'll remake the video on the upgraded gun but I'll tell you I'll tell you guys the accessories that I purchased um so first of all the first accessory was a mantle piston a steel teeth piston which um better quality than the old one and uh, when they took it apart at the store um they wouldn't upgrade they said um they have to send it to a, like a technician guy so like um when they opened it I, I was I was disgusted to find out that all the internals were mostly plastic, and um, it was pretty bad. Um, so, um, so I basically bought an entire set of um, new gears and stuff, pistons, springs, and to make it metal. I'll be upgrade. Um, I've upgraded it to an M130 spring to make it more powerful a little bit, and and some high torque gears made by um, a hobby company in Taiwan just to, just to, for it to handle more of it. Let's get back on right into the review. The WXDM Compact is a small version, small variable of the XDM that also fires a 40, 45 ACP round. Now it's pretty good quality, this one, compared to my PX4, and I'm pretty impressed with it because it has quite a strong kickback. Um, so the box itself is pretty nice. It's, a, it's got XDM, right? and it says XDM series because it's got a few XDMs in there. It's also got a black version. It says WE or WE, whatever you like to call it. Um, some a lot of information, W tactical. Um, more information, more information. Alright, so opening it up, it's a slide open box, which is nice. I always like slide open boxes. So you open it, it's a slide open. When you open it, you find a warranty card. It, you only get this if you're in Taiwan, so if you're not in Taiwan, um, you won't get this. And the, so, yeah, it's a Taiwanese warranty card. So. If you're in the U.S. buying it from GI or something, you won't have it. You get instruction manual, no chambers in here, um, well translated. I even got French and German inside, which is quite impressive. Quite detailed. It's, it's just a, it's um the XDM manual. It's not the XDM compact. You don't have one because it's the same, basically small. And get a few different things. You get some extra back straps. Or something you can call it. you can put them onto a magazine to make your hand fit more on the long magazine. There are more back straps, just like the PX4. And you get your gun. And actually, it comes with two magazines. Got another one right here. I love guns that come with two magazines, always very convenient and makes you feel pretty good. So, basically, the other magazines the same thing, just longer. To get out to do the review too. Getting that box out of the way. All right. All right. So the gun itself has very, very good external build quality. Um, the slide has the realistic um, gray matte finish to it, like all WT pistols, which can be bad in some cases, but excellent in some other guns. Um, it has full trademarks, just like some of the newer WT guns you can see. So it's 45 ACP, compact 3.8, all the true trademarks to the real one. Uh, there's a, it comes with a short magazine with a mag, with a thing for, for a dress for, for a pinky here. Or else your pinky would just be like, you have to hook it on, which makes it uncomfortable. The long magazine which fits in like a Glock long magazine, fits like right in like that. Alright, so start with the metal gun, plastic part of the gun. So basically all the internals are metal like WE, but you'll have to replace them after they're very because they're not very strong materials, but they're good enough to, to last you a little, a little bit of time, which is quite good, so they won't be breaking. Now, something very special to mention is that this gun is very small. It, it's, it, has, it, it was built for the same concept as the, w, as the Glock 26 for like concealed carry. I'm not a real guns expert, suppose what it means because I've shot real guns before and I've taken an NRA gamers class on it. So it's basically like a Glock 26 um, MC. Uh, I have quite a, like a big hand for my age group, 14, so like 
see. It's like about the size of my hand, which is pretty small compared to a full size pistol. Um, actually, I'm going to grab one of my spring pistols here to compare. The one, one to one skill, just low quality. Alright, this is the my one of my first soft guns. This is the this is the, this is the um, a KWC spring gun. So it's a full size pistol compared to the uh, XDM compact. You can see pretty big difference. Now it's a little bit bigger than the Glock 26, but um, about got similarities. Now these magazines are fully compatible with TM magazines, which are great. So if you have a TM XDM, you're watching this video. Magazines are much cheaper at about twenty two dollars, other than forty five or fifty. So like fighting magazines, but they're not, but they don't, but um, they suffer too much cooldown, which is bad. So it's a very nice gun. So let's, so the entire upper receiver, including all the internals, are metal, like all WE guns, and it's, but it's not very strong metal. So you have to upgrade it after a while. The entire lower frame is ABS plastic. Everything is ABS plastic. Um, there's no, there are no metal parts on the bottom, except the safety right here. You can pull the trigger after you flipped it. You can push it forward, and you can pull the trigger. Um, uh, it's so it's, it's a pretty cool gun. You got your standard um, three dot sights, uh, and as you can see, you got the cock indicator. That's pretty famous to XDM. You cock it when you cock the gun, it it protrudes out. Uh, my shirt's white, so it's hard to see. Can you? Goes right back in. So um, that's just the safety feature, always quite nice to have. But according to performance, why, of course, I tested it before I posted the shooting test, of course, because when I got it, I, of course, I would play with it first, right? So um, basically, this gun is very inaccurate. Now, there are a few reasons for this, but um, number one, because WE, of course, doesn't already does not have that magic pop up. Marui, Marui does. And and you're not going to be getting much accuracy out of the WD hop-up. Except their SVD hop-up, which has a lot, very long inner barrel, so that's an exception. And then you can see the inner barrel is actually very, very short. It go, it's about this long, which makes it a very short inner barrel, which makes some accuracy not, not as good. But they're already, they have, have already extended the inner barrel all the way to the tip. As you can see, it's right there. It's, um, there's no difference. Like the inner tattoo, it's just um, like right here, I think. But that's way too expensive anyway, so... Um, the inner barrel is right, right there, so um, it makes it very inaccurate. Um, the bullets curve up, even at the lowest hollow setting. So, it's a very nice gun. Um, see, with the magazine in, fits like a charm. It's got a, it's got a 911 clip safety, and I think this is basically like a 911 and Glock. And possibly M9 crossover because um it's got the mental line safety. It's got um, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the safety. It's got all block um, trigger safety here. So like, if you pull on the side it won't pull, but if you pull in the middle it will. And you pull the slide back. Oh, the slide is very good metal, high quality metal. Um, so it won't be cracking on you like any Marie slides. The Marie. The Marie one is only more reliable than this, but um, it takes HFC 134 glass gas, so upgrade it with a creation slide if you want any other Marie. But for this, it takes green gas right out of the box, which is always great. You, you don't need to make any aftermarket upgrades. And since the Marie one, I would recommend just getting one and using it until it breaks, like my Glock 17 currently, because their slide is pretty expensive for Marie's, and you probably have to spend at least 300 bucks on a pistol, which is really not necessary, but um. Mori pistols have much better performance than um, WE pistols, but this pistol is um, only cost about a hundred bucks, actually about ninety-seven dollars, and I actually got a special deal three bucks for, my, for the extra long magazine, which is pretty awesome. Um, I would say that's a really, really good deal because um, you don't get much mag many magazines for three dollars. Now, um, of course, the price will go way up in America for WE products because number one, as I said, I live in Taiwan. I go to Taiwan. Taipei American School, American School here, so I speak perfect English. English, I don't speak with I don't speak English, which is good. Um, I've got so like yeah, so basically, 
great deal. Yeah, there's also a version where you don't have, you don't want the magazine, but just spend an extra three bucks and just get the extra magazine because it is worth it. And um, it's totally cool. I think it's totally awesome because um, I actually sent it on see my AKN for fixing today. And um, when I when my icon when, when my eyes lay when I laid eyes on this gun, I immediately just said, "I want that. Get it for me." So they got it for me, and I paid for it. But um. Anyway, my C okay. So back to the C my EK. Um, so the C my EK has been undergoing. It will be undergoing some heavy upgrades, as you can see. I'm utterly terrified that all the internals are plastic. So um, that's really really bad because um that breaks easily. Um, and originally it, um so the gearbox blocked and it was a small problem. So I just sent it in just for fixing. And when I took it apart, everything was plastic. So um, I hurried up and like well, grabbed a hundred bucks, just anything. And I put together a hundred bucks and like chose a lot of metal parts, some some gears, steel powered gears. And it should be fine now. The shop said it wouldn't be breaking in half soon. And with the M130 spring shooting at like 430 feet per second, pretty 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 good for outdoor playing, but a little too hot for most indoor fields. Um, in Taiwan, there are no indoor fields anyway, so don't even bother thinking about that. So overall, why I recommend this gun? Yeah. If you are beginning this, for example, um, I know that since I'm quite an experienced airsoft player, I've played for quite a while now. Um, for example, for example, if you, if you if you're gonna bring this, if you're just gonna, um, if your friends say, "Oh, we're having an airsoft game," and you're a guy that never played airsoft before, and you're like, "Oh, why don't you go pick this up since it's not very expensive too? It's about a hundred bucks," and and you're gonna get this just to play with other people. I strongly recommend that you go rent a gun because um, this thing won't really last you long, and um, it's really, really not reliable at all because um, really um, it doesn't have good gas efficiency at all. So why would you ever bring this into airsoft game? It's up to you, actually. So the only re and um, the WXDM has been known for its very strong kick because of its really strong recoil spring, as you can see. Um, it's got a very strong recoil spring in there, and really, it's a very, it's very fun to shoot. It kicks some, um, it kicks on par with pistols, much bigger than this, which is pretty good. So as I said, bring this, you, you're not gonna bring this, be bringing this into a skirmish because um, you're gonna get pwned if you bring this into a skirmish. So just don't do it. Um, why would you do that? And. Basically, yeah. Why well, don't don't bring just gonna just gonna get yourself screwed. Just rent a gun. Um, but or if you're just an experienced as a okay as a player, if you're gonna get a sidearm, if you're really gonna get this, if you really really want it, then get it. But like, if you, but for a sidearm, I would still recommend the Tokyo Marui since it's more gas efficient. But if you haven't got the money, then sure, I don't see why. Go ahead and buy this. Or um, I would say recommend some other brands except the Lee because. Um, KJ works with very pretty good gas efficiency for its price, so get a KJ works, it's about 90 bucks. Uh, get the plastic version, which is 70 bucks. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm gonna do a shooting test now, so it's gonna be a, a next video. So, yeah, peace out, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This will be the review of WDXDM Compact 3.8 Group.